I'm gonna make it to the top, be the legacy. If I got something to say, you better let me speak. Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything. I pop off with the new rock, electronic, blow the sonic proof up. I'm too honest when I take a few shots. Welcome to the Wisdom of the East, your gateway to explore ancient traditions and teachings that emanate from the East. Get ready for an enlightening journey where we unravel age-old secrets and wisdom that have shaped cultures and philosophies. Today we will meet Fuma Kotaro, the Sengoku period. The Sengoku period, or Warring States period, was a period in Japanese history of civil war and almost constant social upheaval from 1467 to 1615. The Sengoku period was initiated by the Onin War in 1464, which overthrew the feudal system of Japan under the Ashikaga shogunate. Various warlords and samurai clans fought for control of Japan in the power vacuum, while the Ikoiki emerged to fight samurai rule. The arrival of Europeans in 1543 introduced the arquebus into Japanese warfare, and Japan put an end to its tributary state status with China in 1700. Oda Nobunaga dissolved the Ashikaga Shogunate in 1573 and launched a war of political unification by force, including the Ishiyama Hongan-ji, until his death in the Honoji incident in 1582. Nobunaga's successor, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, completed his campaign to unify Japan and consolidated his rule with numerous influential reforms. Hideyoshi launched the Japanese invasions of Korea in 1592, but their eventual failure damaged his prestige before his death in 1598. Tokugawa Ieyasu displaced the youngest son and successor of Hideyoshi, Toyotomi Hideyori, at the Battle of Sekigahara in 1600 and re-established the feudal system under the Tokugawa shogunate. The Sengoku period ended when Toyotomi loyalists were defeated at the siege of Osaka in 1615. The Sengoku period was named by Japanese historians after the similar but unrelated Warring States period of China. Modern Japan recognizes Nobunaga, Hideyoshi, and Ieyasu as the three great unifiers for the restoration of the central government in the country. Fuma Kotaro. It was the name adopted by the leader of the Fuma Ninja Clan, Fuma Ito, during the Sengoku era of feudal Japan. He served as retainer of the later Hojo Clan, Go Hojo Shi, which was one of the most powerful samurai families in Japan in the Sengoku period and held domains primarily in the Kanto region. His surname was simply Hojo, but to differentiate between the earlier Hojo clan of the same name and Mon, also called Monsho, Mondokoro, and Kamon, which are Japanese emblems used to decorate and identify an individual, a family, or, more recently, an institution, municipality, or company. However, while mon is a generic term that can refer to any such device, common and mondokoro specifically refer to emblems used to identify a family. They were called Hojo Lader, although this was not the official family name. According to some records, his original name was Kazama Kotaro, the Fuma clan, and Fuma Kotaro. The clan was based in the Kanagawa province, specializing in horse guerrilla warfare and naval espionage. According to certain sources, the family's roots date back to the 10th century when they served. Taira no Masakado, died March 25, 940, was a provincial magnate, Gozoku, and samurai of the Heian period situated in eastern Japan, notable for leading the first recorded uprising against the central government in Kyoto. The use of the name began with the clan's first leader, Jo Nin, originally bearing the surname Fuma, with a different kanji, later changed to the with meaning homophonous. Each subsequent leader of the school adopted the same name as its founder, making individual identification challenging. This school operated in the service of the Hojo clan of Odawara. Fuma Kotaro was the fifth and most renowned leader of the Fuma clan. Born in the Sagami province, was a prefecture of Japan located in what is now central and western Kanagawa Prefecture. 
Sagami Prefecture, borders Izu, Musashi, and Suruga prefectures. It had access to the Pacific Ocean through Sagami Bay. However, most of the present-day cities of Yokohama and Kawasaki, now part of Kanagawa Prefecture, were not in Sagami, but rather in Musashi. Prefecture, on an unknown date, he gained fame as the leader of a band of 200 battle disruptors, known as Rapa, divided into four groups, bandits, pirates, thieves, and arsonists. Kotaro served under Hojo Ujimasa, what it was the fourth chief of the later Hojo clan, and daimyo of Odawara. Ujimasa succeeded the territorial expansion policy of his father, Hojo Ujiasu, and conquered the largest territory in the clan's history, and Hojo Ujinao, what it was a Japanese daimyo of the late Sengoku period, and the final chief of the later Hojo clan. An important figure in the history of Azuchi Momoyama politics, he lost all his dominance after the siege of Odawara, 1590. Despite this, he survived and his family. His notable achievement occurred in 1580, during the Battle of Omosu. Battle of Omosu in 1580 was one of many battles fought between the Hojo and Takeda clans during Japan's Sengoku period. It is distinguished, however, as one of the few naval battles fought in pre-modern Japan when Fuma ninjas covertly infiltrated and attacked a Takeda clan. The Takeda clan, Takeda Shi, was a Japanese samurai clan active from the late Heian period to the end of the 16th century. The clan was historically based in Kai province in present-day Yamanashi prefecture. The clan reached its greatest influence under the rule of Takeda Shingen, one of the most famous rulers of the period. Camp led by Takeda Katsuyori, who was a Japanese daimyo of the Sengoku period, famous as head of the Takeda clan and successor to the legendary warlord Takeda Shingen at night, causing severe chaos and massive casualties among the disoriented enemies as they turned on each other. Later, in 1590, during the siege of Odawara, occurred in 1590, and was the main action in Toyotomi Hideyoshi's campaign to eliminate the Hoyo clan as a threat to his power. The months leading up to this saw hasty but important improvements in the castle's defense as Hideyoshi's intentions became clear. Thus, despite the overwhelming force exerted by Hideyoshi, the siege saw little actual fighting. Also known as Kinoshita Tokichiro and Hashiba Hideyoshi, was a Japanese samurai and daimyo feudal lord of the late Sengoku period and considered the second great unifier of Japan. Although he came from a peasant background, his immense power earned him the rank and title of Kampaku, Imperial Regent, and Daijo Daijin, Chancellor of the Kingdom, the highest official position and title in the nobility class. He then became a Taiko, representing a person who retired from Kampaku and passed his position on to his son. It is believed, but not certain, that the reason he refused or was unable to obtain the title of Shogun, the leader of the warrior class, was because he was of peasant origin, besieged Odawara Castle, which eventually fell, and the Hojo clan was forced to surrender. As the Tokugawa Shogunate, also known as the Edo Shogunate, was the military government of Japan during the Edo period from 1603 to 1868 came to power. The remnants of Fumaryu dwindled to a band of outlaws operating within and around Edo. A popular but fictional story alleges that in 1596, Kotaro was responsible for the death of Hattori Hanzo, a famous ninja in the service of Tokugawa. Tokugawa Ieyasu, January 31st, 1543, June 1st, 1616, born Matsudaira Takechio, and later assuming other names, was the founder and first shogun of the Tokugawa Shogunate of Japan, which ruled from 1603 until the Meiji Restoration in 1868. He was one of the three great unifiers of Japan, along with his former lord Oda Nobunaga and his fellow Oda subordinate Toyotomi Hideyoshi. The son of a minor daimyo, Ieyasu once lived as a hostage to the daimyo Imagawa Yoshimoto on his father's behalf. He later succeeded as daimyo after his father's death, serving as an ally, vassal, and general of the Oda clan, 
and building its strength under Oda Nobunaga. Hanzo had tracked him down in the Inland Sea, the Seito Inland Sea, Seito Naikai, sometimes shortened to Inland Sea, is the body of water that separates Honshu, Shikoku, and Kyushu, three of Japan's four main islands. It serves as a waterway connecting the Pacific Ocean to the of Japan. It connects to Osaka Bay and provides a shipping link to industrial centers in the Kansai region, including Osaka and Kobe. Before the construction of the Sanyo Main Line, it was the main transportation link between Kansai and Kyushu, but Kotaro managed to lure him into a narrow channel where the tide stranded Tokugawa's gunboats, allowing Kotaro's men to set the channel ablaze with oil. Kotaro was eventually captured by the special police of the Tokugawa shogunate and executed by decapitation on Ieyasu's orders in 1603. Despite Fuma Kotaro's legendary exploits, his activities as a bandit leader around Edo caught the attention of the Tokugawa shogunate. However, historical records also highlight the decline of the Fuma clan under Tokugawa rule. Reduced to a group of bandits, their influence waned, and Kotaro's once formidable ninja clan faced increasing challenges. The confrontation between Kotaro and Hanzo, although possibly embellished in folklore, reflects the intrigue and rivalry that defined the world of Sengoku-era ninja. In 1603, Fuma Kotaro met his end through execution, ordered by Tokugawa Ieyasu. Captured by shogunate forces, Kotaro faced the consequences of his actions. The execution marked the end of his tumultuous journey as a ninja leader and bandit. The once powerful Fuma clan, which played a significant role in several conflicts, eventually succumbed to the changes in Japan's political landscape under the Tokugawa regime. Fuma Kotaro's legacy endures through the lens of historical accounts and the rich tapestry of folklore. His cunning strategies, martial prowess, and role as a formidable ninja leader left an indelible mark on the perception of Sengoku-era figures. Whether involved in real historical events or woven into the fabric of legend, Fuma Kotaro remains an intriguing and enigmatic character in the complex narrative of feudal Japan. If you liked it, take a look at these videos that are in the cards at the end, like, comment, share, and see you in the next video.